The U.S. Department of Education established the first Language Resource Centers, or LRCs, in 1990. Currently, the nation's 16 LRCs are supported by Title VI of the Higher Education Act. Together, they make up a national network of resources to promote and improve the teaching and learning of languages, including significant work on less commonly taught languages. LRCs create language learning and teaching materials, offer professional learning opportunities for language instructors, and conduct and disseminate research on language learning and teaching. All LRCs engage in efforts that enable U.S. teachers, students, and the public to better work, serve, and lead. While each LRC has a unique story and mission, all LRC work is organized around eight basic areas. Research, teaching materials, digital tools and resources, assessment, professional development, less commonly taught language initiatives, K through 12 initiatives, and outreach and dissemination. So let's get to know each of the 16 LRCs. The Assessment and Evaluation Language Resource Center at Georgetown University is focused on facilitating useful assessment and evaluation practices that help language educators innovate and improve their programs, including implementation of useful program evaluation and research into how programs can support long-term language learning. The Center for Advanced Language Proficiency Education and Research at the Pennsylvania State University works to strengthen and promote language learning at the advanced levels of proficiency, especially for less commonly taught languages, or LICTOLs. The Center for Advanced Research on Language Acquisition at the University of Minnesota supports language educators with internationally known professional development opportunities and research-based teaching materials with a focus on language content integration and teacher education and advocacy. The Center for Applied Second Language Studies at the University of Oregon supports innovative world language teaching and learning centered on pragmatics and social competencies through the development of research-based curricula, professional development resources, and assessments, all of which incorporate accessible technologies to extend the possibilities of learning. The Curricular Enhancement, Development, Access, and Research Language Resource Center at the University of Cincinnati focuses on the provision, enhancement, and evaluation of language curriculum materials for learners and educators, with a focus on virtual reality for curricular design, the development of inclusive materials, and community partnerships. The Center for Integrated Language Communities at City University of New York works to help students at minority-serving institutions and community colleges develop the translingual and transcultural competence they need to navigate between the communities they come from and the ones they aim to engage with in their post-college lives. The Center for Educational Resources in Culture, Language, and Literacy at the University of Arizona focuses on the teaching and learning of language, cultural awareness, and literacy. Resources and professional development opportunities address intercultural competence, inclusive L2 pedagogies, L2 multiliteracies, STEM integration in language classes, and socially situated materials for less commonly taught languages. The Center for Languages of the Central Asian Region at Indiana University works to foster interest in and knowledge of Central Asian languages and their cultures while meeting strategic national needs through the development of language learning materials, teacher training, and intensive language summer courses. The Center for Urban Language Teaching and Research at Georgia State University promotes and enhances the global skills opportunities for all learners and educators, especially urban and underrepresented learners and educators, to establish diverse, enriching, and successful career pathways. The National African Language Resource Center at Indiana University serves the entire community of African language educators and learners in the United States by sponsoring a wide range of educational and professional activities designed to improve the accessibility and quality of African language instruction, including the development of pedagogical materials and training of African language professionals. The National Foreign Language Resource Center at the University of Hawaii offers professional learning initiatives in project-based language learning, PBLL, online and mobile learning, and intercultural competence, 
focusing primarily on the less commonly taught languages of East Asia, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific, while maintaining relevance for the teaching and learning of all languages. The National Heritage Language Resource Center at the University of California, Los Angeles, promotes heritage languages and encourages their use and transmission from one generation to the next by developing effective pedagogical approaches, creating a research base, and pursuing curriculum design, materials development, and teacher education. The National Less Commonly Taught Languages Resource Center at Michigan State University supports and develops lictal education by offering high quality opportunities for professional learning, creating open and innovative instructional resources, and forging strategic collaborations at the interinstitutional level. The National Resource Center for Asian Languages at California State University Fullerton works to improve the nation's capacity for the teaching and learning of Asian languages, including Vietnamese, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, and Khmer by developing learning and teaching resources and collaborating with school districts and community-based groups to provide these resources directly to local communities. Professionals in education advancing research and language learning at the University of Maryland College Park seeks to improve language educator effectiveness through supporting access to models of effectiveness practices and curricula, opportunities for reflective practice, leadership support from those charged with directing their programs, support from language teaching educators, and engagement through professional learning. The Slavic and Eurasian Language Resource Center at Duke University improves the national capacity to teach and learn Slavic and Eurasian languages by developing teaching and assessment materials and supporting research, undergraduate and graduate education and exchange programs, conferences, seminars, and public outreach programs. Check out nflrc.org for more information. From professional development experiences to free and low-cost teaching and curricular materials, each center is a great resource for language educators throughout the country.